Okay, this is the first video on Introduction to Geometry. This is Chapter 1, Section 2, Points, Lines, and Planes. So we're first going to deal with dimensions. And when we talk about the first dimension, or the zero dimension, right? Zero dimension. We're talking about things in geometry called points. You can call this point A. Points, you can't move up or down or left or right from a point. You're stuck at that one spot spot or dot or point, whatever you want to call it. In geometry, we call it a point. So point A is in the zero dimension because you can't move from point A. Now, if you were to say, well, I want to move from point A, you could draw this yellow segment to another point, maybe point B. Now, B, B is another point. You can't move up, down, left or right from B, but now that we've connected a and B, we have something called a segment. And this segment could have a measure. Say this segment has a length of two inches, right? We'd call that two inches. The abbreviation for inches is IN. And how we would write this as a segment, we would call it segment AB with a line over it. Because it's the segment that moves from A to B. Now, if we look at, so we've analyzed points and we've looked at one type of line. This is called a line segment. Now we can look at a line. And so lines, you're probably familiar with the word line, but let's say we have point P and point Q just off in space somewhere. If we have this line pass through, oops, that didn't go through P. So we have this line pass through both points, wasn't the straightest. Now you can see Unlike the segment up here, the segment stopped at A and this segment stopped at B, this segment, it's not really a segment, it's a line, doesn't stop at either P or Q. Instead, we can draw these arrows to say that it's going to continue on forever in either direction, and that's a line. Right? That's a line, okay? And so, lines will continue on, and you can even call them something like um, line L. Let's call it line L or line K, whatever you want. And so that's how we would denote a line. As opposed to AB over here for this segment, we could say uh, line, line L, right? And um, the next thing we want to look at are uh, rays. So let's say we have point X right here, and we have point Y over here. Again, just random points in space. Let's start at X. Let's start right on point X. And then let's travel through Y. And it got a little crooked. But then we'll say it continues on after Y. It stops at X over here, but it continues on through Y. Now this is called a ray. And we could denote this X ray X Y like that with the line with an arrow over it. Because we're saying that it continues on past Y forever but it stops at this endpoint X, okay? And now, it's also another way that I like to look at it is rays are what comes from the sun, you know, in forms of sunlight, and um, they, they hit our atmosphere and our Earth. And so a, a way you could look at it is, let's, let's say you have the sun here, and the sun emits rays like this, right? And they come down to, to Earth. Let's say this is Earth, okay? And, um, and, the ray, let's say the ray has this point here. It starts at the sun. We can call this point X, right? And then at some point along this ray is point Y, but it's going to keep going on down to the earth, right? It'll keep going through Y down to the earth. So it really does look like, you know, a sun ray, what a sun ray would look like, sunlight ray, ray of sunlight, whatever you want to call it. And now um, we'll move into something called midpoints. And uh, mostly we talk about those when we're looking at segments. So, um, Let's uh, clear a little bit off here. Now midpoints are a really important concept when we get into higher level geometry. And as you'll see even when you're doing the exercises after this video, um, they're, they're important because we can then find out how long certain segments are. Like we said that segment was two inches, but what if we had, you know, what if we were lacking some sort of information? Midpoints will help us find that information. Um, to solve more complex problems. Okay, so let's draw let's draw a segment. And if you'll remember, segments stop at two points. Let's call it point A and point B. 
Now, we have to connect them for it to be a segment. Okay, well, let's say um, we know the length of AB, and we know that that is 6 inches, okay? So I'd say AB is equal to 6. Let's just call it 6, okay? Now, what if I did this? I put um, point X here, okay? Now we really have three different segments, right? We have segment AX, we have segment XB, and we have segment AB. So we have segment AX, we have segment AB, we have segment XB or BX, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And now what if I told you that X is the midpoint? midpoint of segment AB. Well, now I could do something like this. Put a line here, put a line here. That means that AX is equal to XB, right? Because if X is the midpoint of AB, if point X is directly in the middle of the segment AB, then we know that AX is half of AB just as bx or xb is half of ab, so they must be equal. So then, if we know up here that ab is 6, we can easily find ax and xb. We would know since ax equals xb, we would know that they both equal 3. You guessed it, right? Because they're halves. Then we have 3 and 3. And you could do that again. You can say, okay, point t is the midpoint of xb. Now, what would the length of TB be? TB, the length of TB would be half of 3, which is 1.5. And you could just keep doing that. You could say point Y is half of, is the midpoint of TB, and then you'd have 1.5 over 2, which is 0.75, right? And you could just keep going on and on and on forever. Because points don't take up any space, right? You could just keep going, dividing it, dividing it, dividing it. And that's a really important concept of geometry that we'll get to when you, um, you know, uh, go deeper into your mathematical knowledge. And I'll see you after you do your exercises for 1.2. We'll see you in 1.3, talking about circles.